Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today I will be covering the control statements in Java. If you want to uh, see what are data types, what are the basic syntaxes, and uh, how do you install and set up Java, please uh, refer to my previous videos in the playlist Java. So when uh, you want to execute a program in Java, at certain points you need to make decisions. What has to be done when the following thing is true? Like suppose for an even odd example, if the number is even, what has to be done? If the number is odd, then what has to be done? So to make these kind of decisions, we use control statements. Now these control statements are being uh, defined in three types. One is decision making statements which concerns if statements and switch case loop statements there are three types or four types of loop so and third one is jump statements break and continue let's go and see each one so if statement what if statement does is uh, it just executes the particular section of code only if the condition is true otherwise it will go to the next line of code suppose if i have a condition here and the i if it gets true i will execute this code else i will go to the next line now, if suppose I want, uh, if this condition is true, something to be done and if it is false, something else to be done. So, in that particular uh, situation, I will use the if else block. True condition, this particular code to be executed. False condition, this particular code to be executed. Now, we will see each one of them. I will uh, give a demonstration to you. I will show you a live demo. Before that, we will just uh, see all the statements. Then you have switch case. Now we saw if else like two path things. Now if we want number of paths like if I want to see uh, like you have seven days in a week. Then if I want to see if I put one it should uh, enter Monday. Then if I put two it should enter Tuesday like that till seven. So in this way I can have cases like one is my case. Then two is my another case. Three is my another case this way. And it can also have a break as optional. We'll see that. Let's see, this is the syntax. We put the expression. It will match exactly with this value 1. Then this code will execute. And if you want to break it there itself, just I want to match one value match. I want to make it uh, come out of the switch case. So that's why I'll use a break statement. And default here, default will be executed. If there are no cases matched, default will be executed. Coming to loop statements. So loop statements, as I said, the loops are in four uh, four different types of loops. So let's see the first one, for loop. So for loop, when you have to use this, uh, when your iteration is fixed. So in this, what you do is you initialize your variable, you put up a condition and you increment and decrement. How you do this, we'll see it in a while once we start our live demo and uh, your, your code will be executed. Next comes while loop. While loop when you have to use while you know that okay I want to check till when I have to go before this condition is true till that time I want to run it. Like you do not have an iteration is not fixed. In that condition you will use the while loop. Similarly in syntax your while condition and in uh, do the following code and increment and decrement the statement. Next coming to do while loop. Do while loop what it says is the when to use it iteration is not fixed but you want to run the loop at least once even if the condition is false so you will first execute once and you will update the statement and you will do it till the particular condition is true for each i'll be doing in the uh, next uh, video so let's see i had uh, jump statements when you encounter a break statement inside a loop the loop is terminated and the control jumps to the next line of code so break as the word means right just break the loop from there not going to the next iteration just come out of the loop if you want to break a loop at a particular uh, execution that you are done with this you want to break it then you can put the statement as break so it will come out of the loop next in this jump statement we have continue suppose i want to uh, write the number from 1 to 10 but i want to skip 4 so when i when i see the iteration is 4 i'll just say continue before printing it so what will happen it will print 1 2 3 then 5 6 7 8 9 10 so in this way i will get the current flow of the program and i will skip the iteration for as you use continue keyword it will skip the iteration and move to the next one it will not come out of the loop remember this the difference between break and continue 
ब्रेक लेट्स यू कम आउट ऑफ द लूप एंड कंटिन्यू लेट्स यू आई ट्रेड द नेक्स्ट इटरेशन सो लेट्स सी द लाइव डेमो ऑफ वॉट एवर वी डिस्कस टू नाउ सो टूडे आई बी यूजिंग द स्प्रिंग टूल सूट एज माई आई डी ई सो नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट अ जावा प्रोजेक्ट एज यू कैन सी यूर इन द लेफ्ट क्रिएट अ जावा प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई नेम द प्रोजेक्ट एज कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट्स डेमो now i have the project here then i'll create a new class say demo by default it goes in my default package of the application okay so i have my class as demo now uh, I, uh, let us have the main method okay so now uh, first let us start with if statement so now if i want to say int a equal to 10 int b equal to sorry 20 okay now if a is less than b i want to sys out is a shortcut in id in this ide for uh, printing the print ln statement so now i say over here a is less than b okay simple a int a int b these are two integers uh, one has the value as 10 and another has the value as 20 and i'm just trying to execute a if statement i want to make a decision that a is less or b is less out of these two numbers so definitely 10 is less than 20 and it will print my statement now let's run this you can click here run as java application so it prints a is less than b Which, which means what 10 is less than 20 now if you want to check how you uh, define data types and what are different types of data types i have already done a previous tutorial on data types so you can check that out now if suppose my this situation is false and i want to have an else condition okay so now if i want that if a is not less than 20 then i want to print sorry sys out okay then i want to print a is b is le less than a all right now let us to make the else run we have to change the value so now this condition 30 is not less than 20 it will get false and we will uh, it will execute the else block now let us play it again b is less than e okay so i guess if else is understood now let's have something particular uh, like if i want to keep this as 18 and this uh, suppose we'll have an int time equal to 20 okay so now i say if time is less than 18 18 means what i'm considering it as 6 o'clock then i want to print good day else if time is not less than 18 that means it is greater than 18 and it's night time uh, evening time so i would say good evening okay so this is one case now i can have one more condition over here is okay let's make this uh, if we want to have a nested loop uh, if structure 
so what we can do is if less than 10 let's print it as good morning then else if time is less than 18 I will print it as good day and I will have one more else block in which I'll be having the same similar kind of statement which but it says good evening so before 10 it's good morning before 6 it is good day and after 6 it is good evening so this is my if else if ladder okay now i have put the value as 20 that means what 8 o'clock so it should print good evening okay now if i put it as 14 sorry yeah 14 2 o'clock so it will be what it will be good day okay now if i print it as 9 morning 9 o'clock so it will print it as good morning okay so i guess the if else if is understood so now let's go ahead and see some uh, see the switch case statement so now what we will do with here is i'll say i had given you the example of week right so we'll start with that only okay uh, let me just remove this So, we'll have a switch case statement with, in which I'll be putting the integer as day as my expression and I'll be putting case 1 is 2 and I will print this out Monday. Okay, and break. Then I'll be printing case 2 as this out as Tuesday okay and I'll keep it as break I just want to know whatever number I put according to that I want to know the day of the week so we'll, I'll just copy paste this for you so one two three and it is wednesday make sure you have all the cases as valid else this will give you this kind of error that it's a duplicate case okay because that's the reason right if you have similar cases why would you execute in a different case so you need to make sure that your case is valid six and seven okay Saturday and we have it as Sunday and now I want like if the person gives me a invalid input so what I will do is I'll just say invalid they asked for day of the week okay so now i have my day as five and it should print as friday so let's print this let's see friday now if i put something as 15 which is not a valid day invalid day asked for the day of the week okay and if i print it as one I'll, it'll get us Monday. Similarly, you can try out with. Uh, okay, fine. Le I'll give you an exercise. Uh, please write it in the comment box and try. Uh, send me the code for a switch case implementing months of the year. Okay, and also make sure you have a default case as well. Okay, I'll be waiting for your comments. Okay, now that you have seen the switch case, now we'll see the loops. So, coming to the first loop, that's the while loop. Okay. 
So here if I have my int i equal to 10 and I say while i is less than 10, I want to print the i. And here always remember to increment or decrement according to the situation your loop otherwise it will go into infinite case sorry see it's not coming because i have given i equal to 10 so sorry i equal to 1 now you see i have printed the numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now why 10 is not here because i have not given i less than equal to 10 so if i give less than that means what it will not in be inclusive of 10 now if i give i less than equal to 10 so what will happen is it will also include 10 clear now the similar thing we will uh, do using a uh, do while loop so i'll say okay fine 5 okay and i say do this out i I plus plus make it as one and you write while now see if I don't write anything here what error I am getting please insert a while expression to complete the loop so yes we will do that while i is less than 5 i want the and here uh, we will have a semicolon as the rule okay as the syntax is so do i equal to 1 first of all and do sys out that is print i till i is less than 5 with an incremental i while you are incrementing i so it will print i 1 2 3 4 not 5 because i have not given equal to okay so you can see one, two, three, and four. Okay, now let us try this using a for loop. So you say for int i, okay, i equal to zero, i is less than five, i plus, sorry, plus plus. Okay, now I say sys out and I want to print i. Simple. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Why? Because I started with 0. Okay. Now let us see the break statement. Now here, uh, here only I will show you the break statement. Now I want, okay, if uh, i is equal equal to 3. Okay. I want i equal to 3. Then I will break my loop. Else I will print out i. Okay. So if I break, what will happen? 4 will not be printed here. 0, 1, 2. When it came to 3, it broke. Okay. So I have given a jump statement that is break. Now similarly, I want 3 not to be printed. Okay. I want to ignore 3. So, if I say i equal equal to 3 and I put a continue keyword. So, what will happen is it will ignore 3 and it will move on. 0, 1, 2, 4. Clear? So, uh, points to be taken. Do not forget to increment the loop whenever you are writing any kind of loops. Otherwise, it will result into a never ending loop. Okay? So, if you have any doubts regarding the control statements and uh, if you want to study regarding the for loop, the nested structure and the patterns, I will uh, do a video on that. Let me know in the comment section. So, otherwise, we will continue ahead with uh, methods and constructors. So, and I have also given you a switch case uh, exercise. Please uh, code it in the comment section and send it to me we'll be discussing with the name of the commenter and we'll discuss in the next uh, video so till then stay happy let's codify with sonal in the next video
Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my video. Don't forget to click a bell icon so that whenever I put the next video, you get an update. Thank you.